What's up guys, I device help here and iOS 10.3 is on beta 4 right now and I don't expect any new major changes to the OS until its final release which should be soon here in the next couple of weeks or so. So in this video I wanted to give you guys an overall look at what to expect when you finally install iOS 10.3 on your device. So let's begin. One of the biggest changes with iOS 10.3 is something that you won't be able to see yourself and that is Apple's new file system. Apple has optimized iOS to Apple's file system which gets rid of junk and clutter and makes the OS a lot faster and a lot smoother. Not only that but it also gives you back a lot of storage so now everything is condensed everything is more optimized for mobile devices so when you update to 10.3 you may see a drastic increase on the storage for your device you may notice that sometimes you buy a 16 gigabyte iphone and you only have like 13 gigabytes of usable storage well with ios 10.3 you may see that raised to 14 or even more in some cases with apple's new file system when you launch the settings application the first thing you'll get greeted with is your icloud settings so if you tap here you'll see all your information from your phone number your email all of your devices your itunes settings your family sharing your icloud security and passcode payments and all that good information that pertains to you so it's on top of settings and on this banner here you'll also get notifications if you're updating your password or if you have an update it'll prompt you right below this banner to do so now inside of name phone numbers and email settings inside of icloud you now have the announcement options here for news you also have it for music and you have it for apps three new options within the phone number and email settings inside of iCloud extension. Tapping into iCloud settings right here, you now have a new UI to determine what's taking up space on your device from photos to backups to documents and email. It just gives you a better understanding on what's taking space on your device. If you need to delete anything to create storage, you also have the ability to tap on this here and buy additional storage on the cloud if you need to do so or manage your storage directly from it. If you tap on the generals tab and then the about section, you now have the applications section which will allow you to see which applications aren't fully compatible with the latest OS that you're running on your device. You can contact the developer directly through there, maybe request an update and see what's happening with that application and it just gives you a better understanding on which applications could slow your device down. On iOS 10.3 Siri also got smarter. Now when you go to enabled Siri if it's turned off you get a new UI from wherever you are to enabled Siri just like that. Now what can Siri do within iOS 10.3 that it couldn't do on previous versions? Well you can request an override you can send a payment to a contact you can uh, keep track of a payment and down here you have the app support so if you tap on here you see that I have PayPal I can enable it and then Siri can just send a uh, payments through PayPal to someone on my contacts and things like that so Siri got a lot smarter with 10.3 the passcode field now got a new UI now there's circles instead of dashes but inside the restriction area here for iOS once you enter your passcode you'll find a new option that allows you to manage your providers uh, keep restrictions on certain providers again that is under the restriction area there within iOS 10.3 in iOS 10.3, Apple added the ability to find my AirPods. Within the Find My iPhone application, you can log in. And if you have the AirPods, you know they're tiny, they can get lost easily. You can send the sound to the AirPods to find them if you lose them. Very similar to what you do when you go to find your Apple Watch if you lose it or your iPhone. You can now send the sound to AirPods to find them with inside the Find My iPhone application. Apple CarPlay also received an update on iOS 10.3, displaying the three most frequent used applications on the top left. I find myself using this new feature a lot so if you have an Apple CarPlay unit on your vehicle you'll have the most recent on the top left very easy access within CarPlay now on some very minor UI changes inside of the emoji the keyboard icon here for the emoji it's now filled in instead of outlined a very subtle very minor change inside of the privacy settings we have some renamed options here to analytics inside of it you also have the ability to share iCloud analytics with Apple if you wish to do so if you have a 3d touch enabled device inside of the maps application the icon below here in the right corner can now be 3d touch and if you continue pressing it'll take you directly uh, to the weather on your device now also in the app store if you want to rate a review you can also do that with 3d touch you can go ahead and say if it was helpful not helpful report and the developer can also contact you directly 
directly on your comment or on your review. So pretty nice options there for 3D Touch inside the App Store. With inside the cellular tab, you can now scroll down and enable or disable the ability to transfer files using your network connection or using Wi-Fi. So if you toggle it off, it'll only let you transfer files using iCloud Drive while connected to Wi-Fi. If you enable this, it'll allow you to use your network connection to transfer files. Now I want to cover glitches as well. The ability to remove the labels from the icons is still possible on the latest beta of 10.3 beta 4. If that changes, of course, I'll update you guys on that. The ability to turn on invert color and night shift together is still possible as long as you use Siri. So if you turn on invert colors, it turn off night shift. But if you use Siri, you can activate both. Turn on night shift. Night shift activated. All right, so night shift is activated and invert colors is activated simultaneously. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do that. So some of the glitches are still possible on the latest version of iOS 10.3. If you listen to podcasts, you now have the ability to add a widget to podcasts. You see it right here on my widgets panel. And you guys might remember a rumor of a theater mode feature coming to the iPhone within iOS 10.3. Well, we never got that feature. It was rumored to be a dark mode coming to 10.3. That never happened or it hasn't happened as of the fourth beta as of yet. But we did get it on the Apple Watch. If you tap here, you see new theater mode gets activated. It's silenced your Apple Watch. If you're in the movie theater eating popcorn, the display will not turn on and no sound will be emitted from the Apple Watch with theater mode enabled. And last but not least, you'll get a more faster, more stable operating system with 10.3 as expected. Now, when it was first released on the first beta, some applications were having a glitch on the animation, but that has been fixed as of the fourth beta. And I feel like this is really close to the official release and you'll get a snappier, faster device, including some of the older devices are also reporting improvement on the performance now if anything changes from here to the official release i'll be sure to update you guys on that i've been idevice help this was a review of ios 10.3 and what to expect when it releases to the public i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will catch you guys on the next one peace